G'day YouTube. So we've got this cool old hand mincer grinder. We we're going to throw out because we don't really have time to mince things. I can't remember the last time it was used. It's probably older than I am. And uh, just looked at the design of it and then thought maybe we could make a granulator out of it. So we started to. If you feed straight up copper wire with the uh, TPS style insulation on the outside, that's what happens. It munches it up and spits out granules. Let's see if I can't wind a bit in through it. So it grabs hold. So you just feed it in. And away it munches. Self-feeding, munching. Into the copper wire. You can see it's crushed the insulation in a few places. Shredding it straight off the copper. What comes out the other side, just undo this nut. And take the assume you'd call it like a cut-off blade so you've got another nice fairly sharp steel cutting edge there that cuts your strings off once it actually pushes through you're poking out of here all the way around you've got a bunch of mangled up TPS oh, lost it all so with a bit of refining, and I reckon putting a knife edge on the flat side of this, so the side that actually turns into the mincer, on these three, four, you can see where that one's actually had a sharp edge previously. Put a sharp edge on that so it actually cuts as it goes in. I'm thinking we might drive it with something like a windscreen wiper motor. Big gear reduction, small motor, can run at variable speed and uh, we should be able to get some pretty good results out of it. Sharpen this up, sharpen that up. The outlets, I'll show you the outlets. On the mincer itself, well, that's, that's what falls out. Granulated chunks of copper. Now, if you float that in water, the copper bit floats, uh, the copper bit sinks and the plastic floats. So it's really easy to separate the pulp. So you pulp it into a bucket or whatever, copper will sink to the bottom, plastic will float to the top, scoop the plastic out, and all you've got is copper left over. That's with it blunt and... It'd have to be 50 years old, surely. And no doubt it's minced its fair share of stuff. Uh, the fellow that owned it was my missus's father and uh, he was a chef so no doubt he's ground some stuff up in it over the years yeah sort out a drive Chris is going to sharpen up all the all the blades probably with a die grinder and a stone and that's what we'll have all right I'll give you an update once uh, we've done that but this is just a you find these at antique markets and flea markets and spot meets and things quite a bit I can't imagine it'd be expensive it's got a nice vise so you can mount it to something. We'll drive it with a wiper motor, even a drill, something like that. Should be able to uh, process a bunch of this wire that you'd normally uh, take to the scrapyard and only get about 90 cents a dollar a kilo, as is with all its plastic on it. You'll be able to get rid of all the plastic and just have clean, bright and shiny copper, which you would probably get five to six, maybe even seven dollars a kilo for. In big quantities and in buckets full of it so we'll roll with that thanks for watching youtube catch you in the next video